Hello everyone, Slow Motion Atomic Bomb here again with another Christmassy video. Today we're playing, what's this game called? Christmas Race? I believe this is a mobile game of some kind. Oops, that was ported to the PC, the Steam. I got it on Steam. Why not get it on Steam? Get it on Steam, I think it's 79 pence. Uh, except when it goes on special offer, which is fairly frequently, actually. I think I paid the princely sum of 39 pence. Not much to the game. You're Santa in a sled. You're collecting presents. And there's a, a kind of annoying mechanic. I don't just mean the music. It's that the sled constantly drifts right. I get the feeling that's because it's a mobile game. So I think you would just press the touch screen to make him go left, but it's a it's a confusing thing. It takes a while to sort of get your head around it. Now I did attempt to already make a video on this, but I um, ah, I've installed some new software into OBS, in theory, to make things easier for myself, to separate the game audio from the Discord audio that I've been using, and it works a treat. The problem is that I keep forgetting to add it in each individual video recording. You have to capture the executable, which is the game file, as opposed to your like audio outputs. And what that meant was I recorded a 15 minute video that didn't have any game audio in it. It's very annoying. You can probably see if you look at the blue line at the top, where there's the total number of presents I've collected along with my all-time record, which is 36, which I actually did last night. And if I can't re-achieve that in this video, I might edit that in. I might, I might have to layer the game audio underneath it. But could I be bothered painstakingly going back and putting all the sound effects in? Possibly not, especially after last night, where I discovered that I deleted an entire project in Vegas, uh, having spent three days editing it without rendering it as a video. God, I was annoyed. Thankfully, I was able to resurrect it fairly quickly. But bloody hell was I in a bad mood. Everything's so simple. But technology is so irritating. It's brilliant when it works. And it's the most frustrating when it goes wrong. Which for me, it frequently does. I also... F oh, why does that keep happening, by the way? It keeps sort of veering off while I'm not pressing any buttons. But like a secret thing that I'm clipping? I don't know. Now, one of the big problems I've got in the production of this video, besides everything else, uh, is the fact that it's kind of difficult to think of things to talk about for 15 minutes. Especially when this is the extent of the game. So I thought that I would look up some Christmas facts. And that might improve my uh, gameplay experience because it allow me to concentrate on what I'm doing. So here now are some Christmas facts that I've dubbed over the top of whatever I've recorded. Did you know that in 1979, an astronomer called George Banos wrote an academic paper about the holy star of Bethlehem, the signpost to the apparent birthplace of Christ? And he worked out that although the star may have been a comet, it was most likely that it was Uranus. That's it, Uranus shining brightly in the night sky. That perhaps tells you all you need to know. 
Ah. Uh, I got quite far there, but I didn't pick any presents up. Four. Oh. Anyway, have another Christmas fact. Even on the religious bent for a moment, apparently Christmas wasn't always on December the 25th, and we know this because there's actually no mention of it in the Bible. Which is, you know, given that it's Jesus' birthday and all that, you'd think it would be there, but it's not. And a lot of historians think that Jesus was really born in the spring. I don't know what historians would have to do with a work of fiction, but... Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier when you're not trying to think about what you're talking about as well. Let's have another little go. You do kind of pick up the hang of it eventually. There's a nice five. Can we double that into double figures? From the looks of it, no. Oh, it keeps... I don't know why, but it keeps swerving off. Tell you I'm what, not, I'm not convinced it is. I'm going to show you last night's. We'll uh, we'll carry on. Temps where I got 36. Got to do something. I'll do that after this. Well, I'll do it now. I think it's just it's like an endless runner. Really ramps up in speed very quickly. It's too tight on that corner. I wish I could use a controller for it. Might be against the spirit of things. But this guy automatically shifts left when you take the finger off the mouse. Seems like the um, placement of the items is random. Ten! I've done it! I've done it! How many more can I get? Fourteen. Bloody hell. Is this going to make a much of a YouTube video? Ooh! Sixteen. I've suddenly gotten good. How did that happen? Can I get 20? There's no way. Oh! 20! Oh my god. I've gotten the hang of it. Holy shit. 29. 30. Thirty-four. Oh my god. Oh, 36. Well, there you go. That's the PB. Can you beat that score? Why not have a go? Christmas race. Wow. 39 pence on Steam. Amazing. Pretty good, right? I don't think I'm going to best it here. Although I noted there was no audio, unless I decided to edit the audio in just for that bit. Might do that. Don't think I'm going to beat 36. I'm out of the habit already. <laughs> little burp for you there. It just wants me to hold left or release and I can't get used to it. Oh, come on. Six. No, messed it up. Tell you what. I'm going to concentrate again and I'm going to dub in another Christmas fact. Well, it's not really a Christmas fact, it's more of a Christmas opinion. I was talking to someone once about back, you know, remember when Christmas Day television was a big deal? Back in the days when we only had four television channels. Four? I think the best double header, probably the 1988 BBC One offering, which had the British television premiere of Back to the Future, followed by a near 90 minute special of uh, Only Fools and Horses which is the one where Del Boy meets Raquel and she turns out to be the stripper at the bachelor party which uh, leaves Del humiliated. Classic episode. I give a double header that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Why does it keep doing that? I mean can you can you tell when you watch this back? Or is it just a feeling of where he suddenly seems to turn left with no no input from me? It's highly irritating. But I can definitely um, I can see where this might be fun. The sort of people that like doing the same thing over and over and over again. 
would like this. It's a nice thing to... Um, I can see where it works as a mobile game. Something that you can do for five minutes at the bus stop while you're waiting for the next bus to come along. Something that you don't get like too involved with, but you can pick up and have a little go. Something that you can uh, spend a good 30 minutes getting lost with while you're having your annual Boxing Day shite. Big festive plap. I really don't think I'm going to beat 36. I am worried that I've not recorded enough content. There is a sequel to this, Christmas Race 2, but I, from what I gather, it's almost exactly the same. Don't know if that's true or not. Not sure if I want to pay to find out. The 39p, which is what I paid for it in a sale. All right. All right. The little time waster, innit? It's made me a bit of content. But whatever that's worth. Nothing. Thank you to the two people who have watched this video. AKA my entire fan club. Oh, I was doing sort of okay there. No, I wasn't. I only got five. What am I talking about? Gonna see if I can beat 36 before I get over 300. I mean, 300 is obviously going to come first. Oh, that was a, a risky one. Well, I had a few of them in our time. Bloody hell, 10. At least I hit double figures. Right, we're at 290. Can we top? Okay, we're at 290. Can we top 36? I am going to bet no. Sounded a bit Yorkshire then, didn't I? No. Come on. Come on, we're all sick of this video now. I'm sick of playing it. It's a fun thing to play for a handful of minutes. I think what would keep me coming back to this game is if it had levels. I realise that endless runners typically don't have levels. But that little adrenaline rush of finally beating a level and starting the next one, I think that's why things like Candy Crush are so popular. I mean, they're practically endless. But they give the illusion of that, you know, that you're actually achieving something. I guess that's all this is going to be, right? Is can you beat your personal best? All I'm trying to do is set a target and then trying to break that record. No! Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You don't get many Christmas games, is the thing. And I can see where this would provide five minutes entertainment if you're on the shitter. Or you're waiting at a bus stop. I tell you what, the outro video for this is going to have to be colossally long. <laughs> I want to hit that 15 minute threshold. Oh. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm not trying to get every one. Just the occasional one. I feel like I need it. Need something else. It needs a ramp or something. I bet there's people that have like got ridiculously high scars on this. Oh god! Neely. Can we finish on a 15? Come on, you shit bag. 15. That'll do. Brilliant. Amazing. What a game. What a grand old time. This is basically a mobile game. God, I am awful at this. My new personal best. One. What is this, by the way? Oh, I can change my cosmetics. Except I can't change any of them. I don't have any unlocked. 
Is that to encourage you to keep playing cosmetics? Better than pay to win, I suppose. Only got one, two presents from all that. Uh, on that, I think we'll end on one last Christmas fact. It's a fact about snow. Did you know that the act of snowballing is where two people... What? Banned off YouTube? Oh. Well, I guess I'll just have to end it there then. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel perhaps, and maybe even tinkle my festive bell. Merry Christmas!